lots and lots of important and, uh, well, some not so important <laughs> NFL news as we had our week 14 of the season and playoff implications are looming. So let's open it up with a few minutes of chat, huh? And now, four minutes of the football. All righty, well, let's start it out with this one. How about two divergent stories about sports and celebrities? Anna Bozart has uh, been a big fan of Peyton Manning. So when she was uh, getting married, for the fun of it, she invited her favorite quarterback to the event. She really didn't expect a reply. Uh, but uh, while it was a little late in coming back and responding, uh, she and her husband received in the mail a one-of-a-kind piece of sports memorabilia. You got you to gotta give it to him for uh, a classy move, really, seriously. So are you going to be asking him to RSVP uh, uh, for Christmas? No, no oh, oh, I thought, no, yeah, I thought yeah. you were going to ask whether I was going to invite him to my wedding. I'm, that's not happening anytime soon. Well, I was going to say, no, 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 no. as close as you two are, <laughs> I was going to say he'd be in the wedding, wouldn't he? Listen, <laughs> meantime, at the divergency, divergency, meantime, out in Houston, <laughs> New England Patriots quarterback Tom Brady, well, he graciously granted the request by two Reliant Stadium uh, security guards to pose in a picture with them. Good guy, that Tom Brady uh, and the security guards now have their own piece of unique sports memorabilia. And uh, I hope that they're enjoying their newfound treasure because as a result, they no longer have their jobs. Apparently, stadium security have strict policies about requesting photos or autographs from players. Okay, I, you're killing me with this. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I understand you uh, don't want to be going and, uh, you know, and bugging every, you know, guy that comes down the line, but I don't Come know. on, I really? Know. I mean, okay. did... Uh, right, I, I hear you. All right. Look, look at what kind of security guards they are. I mean, come on. Seriously? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yes. Thursday night, uh, you know, the big, the big news this week. Uh, during Thursday night Steelers-Ravens game, Mike Tomlin impeded Jacoby Jones on a kickoff return, mm -hmm. uh, but was not flagged for interference. Uh, the league has issued him a 100 thousand dollar fine said that a suspension is not necessary mm -hmm. everything sounds good up to that point but we're not done yet uh, because of con because the conduct affected a play the NFL could modify or for force the Steelers to forfeit a draft pick after the final order of the 2014 draft is assigned right really is, is this you. too much thank you it's way too in my opinion it's way too much Okay, because I'm going to be honest with you, it wasn't until really this evening that you guys have really kind of got me convinced, okay, maybe Tomlin actually did do something here purposeful. Because when I first saw it, I'm thinking to myself, come on, it doesn't even, I mean, it could have been an innocent thing. I mean, right. really. But, but a hundred thousand dollar fine, I think, is is enough to say that's it. Okay. Right. I mean, it Rather doesn't warrant it, seriously. It, it doesn't warrant a suspension, but but we'll take, but a, draft we'll take pick, a draft pick depending on where you're at yeah, yeah, in the draft. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so it's conditional yeah. on even that. Yeah. And we know where Pittsburgh's going to end up. They're yeah. actually going to be pretty good you in know. the draft this year. Uh, leave it alone. All right. The hundred thousand dollar fine. Okay. That leave it at that. All right. Last but not least, the uh, Washington Redskins were down by seven points and driving late in the fourth quarter in their Sunday night loss to the New York Giants, 24 to 17. Things uh, then though got very, very confusing on the drive as everyone seemed to kind of lose track of the exact down after the headlinesman incorrectly motioned for the chain crew to advance, resulting in the down box to be automatically changed to reflect a one. And you can see that right there, there's a one, but they're, they're behind the line. When uh, in actuality, it should have been actually a third down at that, at that point. The Redskins failed to convert on their, what they thought was a That's first right. down, which really was a third, and that <laughs> resulted in the Redskins trying for a first down on fourth down. But they thought it was second down. Uh, is everybody following me? No, no, nobody's following me. Listen, even Al Michaels and Chris Collins were, were vocally barking about the situation live on air as they could see how gruesome this had become. Some now are calling for the use of technology and laser-guided down markers in the determination of uh, the accurate forward progress and, and ball placement. Now, the technology apparently has been around and it's been developed and is readily available. It's been used in some collegiate exhibitions and the UFL and the Canadian Football League. So it just seems to me that the NFL should get, get on it and smarten up. Huh? Yes? 
No, I mean, I, I understand some people wanting, you know, the integrity of, you know, human error in yeah, the game. I know, I heard, but I heard that. We've too. got technology like this right. that I think would en enhance the game. Right. You know? I know. Let the ref screw up some other call. Well, you know, there's been that conversation about baseball. I mean, should we should we try to use right. tech, as much technology as possible? And yet the whole thing has always come back. Well, there's the human error in baseball. Again, this is... But see, that was a mess the other night. Oh, Seeing yeah. that live, nobody knew what the hell was going on. All right, there you go.